Good afternoon, everyone. Pastor Schmeichel here from Lamb of God Lutheran Church in Madison, Alabama, with our Tuesday afternoon video devotion. After observing the world for 50 plus years and after looking in the mirror for 50 plus years, I've come to the conclusion that I and the rest of the world are horrible listeners. I'm not sure if that's also true for you, but I would suspect it is. We, we live in a world that wants to speak rather than listen. And that's true from the time we're little babies. The toddler doesn't want to listen to mom or dad. Uh, the young child will cover their ears and say, I'm not listening, I'm not listening. That's true when we have conversations with people. It's especially true when we don't agree with people. But in order to communicate, you have to be able to listen. And not just hear what the other person is saying so you can respond to it, but really listen. And that is a really hard thing to do. Uh, but nowhere is listening more important than when we're in communication with our God through his word. One of the finest Christian qualities is an eagerness to listen, to listen to what God says, to take it in, uh, not to argue with God, not to blame God, not to simply take a quick glance at God's word saying, God, I've got a problem. Uh, show me a quick answer from your word and then I'll get on with my day. But really listen. Uh, we have a wonderful example in scripture, and that's really from our, our first lesson this past Sunday, uh, from 1 Samuel chapter 3. Uh, the young boy Samuel, who is serving the Lord full time from the time that he's a little boy uh, throughout his life. And Samuel made it a point to, to listen. He was eager to serve, and therefore he was eager to listen. Oh, may that be a quality that we can improve on in our lives as well. To listen first and foremost to the Lord and his word. Uh, to really take in the words that God is saying, uh, rather than to take a quick glance and say, God, um, I need some help. Give me a quick answer. Or God, here's what I want to do. Can you, can I, can you uh, show me something that's going to allow me to do what I want to do? Uh, but really take to heart what God says to us and to take God at his word. Listen to these words from 1 Samuel chapter 3. The boy Samuel ministered before the Lord under Eli. In those days, the word of the Lord was rare. There were not many visions. One night, Eli, whose eyes were becoming so weak he could barely see, was lying in his usual place. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the house of the Lord where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel. Samuel answered, Here I am. And he ran to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. But Eli said, I did not call. Go back and lie down. So he went and lay down. Again the Lord called Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. My son, Eli said, I did not call. Go back and lie down. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. The word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. A third time, the Lord called Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. Then Eli realized that the Lord was calling the boy. So Eli told Samuel, Go back and lie down. And if he calls you, say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. The Lord came and stood there, calling as at the other times, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. These are God's words, and may they be our attitude as well in our lives. In first and foremost, listening to the Lord and his word, uh, but then to take that 
word that God says to us and use it and apply it in our lives as we truly listen to one another and seek to learn and seek to grow and seek to understand. God bless your day.